So six months later, I actually Googled teach English in Russia, applied for the first job I found and ended up in China by some happen chance. Complete accident. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name is Simon, I live in Shanghai, and I'm a filmmaker. I actually started in photography as a bit of a hobby, but a uh, much more experienced and better photographer friend of mine noticed that my videos were probably, that I had a better eye for videos, and so he kept encouraging me to put more videos out. And so because he did, um, I did. And I figured YouTube was an easy way to share it with the people I wanted to share it with. South African originally, but more recently I'm from New Zealand and I'm a teacher by trade, so I study teaching. Uh, so I'm actually in Shanghai teaching while I start and try and get my own business off the ground in beauty services. Uh, I was working at a school in New Zealand and we had an earthquake. And a few years after the earthquake, the school closed down for quite a few reasons. So I lost my job and there were a lot of other much more experienced teachers in the market and I just couldn't find a job. So six months later, I actually Googled teach English in Russia, applied for the first job I found and ended up in China by some happen chance. The hardest part about YouTube in China is that YouTube's actually blocked in China. So all of your access to it, uploading and watching YouTube videos, it's all about uh, VPNs. And then also, because it's blocked here, there's not actually much of a market for YouTube in China because the 1.3 billion locals don't use VPNs and don't use YouTube. They have local equivalents like Yoku or Maypai. And actually, a lot of the time, if you become successful on YouTube, yeah, a lot of your stuff will be stolen from YouTube and uploaded to the local Chinese social media sites by other people. And uh, that's quite a difficult process to fight. So that's probably the hardest part about YouTube in China. That's probably the hardest part about YouTube in China. What's the best thing about being a YouTuber in China? Oh man, look around me. Uh, there's nowhere you can go that isn't super interesting to film, especially in Shanghai. It's like a massive, famous tourist destination from all around the world. You can walk down any street and have something cool to put on camera. There's literally no lack of motivation or inspiration or ideas living in China. It's such a unique thing to so many people and we get to live it every day. Oh man, look around me. Uh, there's nowhere you can go that isn't super interesting to film, especially in Shanghai. a unique thing to so many people and we get to live it every day. Just pick up your camera and go. You don't need to have 12,000 RMB worth of equipment. You can just use your phone. And you can see I've got a reflective case on mine so that I can frame my selfies. And it, I mean, the phones have amazing cameras. You, you literally have no reason not to. Don't give yourself the excuse, oh, I need a microphone or I need to buy this camera or I need this gave a uh, stabilizer or whatever. Just pick up your phone or pick up a camera and you have and start filming. The best video tip 
I have is when you're filming, make sure you get two shots every time. Pre-plan them, storyboard them if you can. A clear opening shot and a clear closing shot. If you have those two things, you can put whatever you want in the middle and it's still going to feel like somewhat of a narrative. They're still going to seem like a bit of a story because you opened and closed it well and that makes a massive difference to the viewer's experience of your video. If you have those two things, you can put whatever you want in the middle and it's still going to feel like somewhat of a narrative. My YouTube channel is just my name, it's Simon Barnes. Okay guys, that was the absolute first interview I've ever made on this YouTube channel about YouTubers here in China. Simon is an awesome guy. We had a lot of fun during the day in Yuyang Garden. He is a very, very talented videographer. He creates really cool cinematic scenes when he do those smooth cinematic shots. I totally recommend to check his channel out, I'll link it below. Since this was my first interview, I just tested out how I can build these interviews, but I want to create more of these interviews about YouTubers here in China. So if you are a YouTuber or you know anyone that is a YouTuber, please comment below or contact me in any way and I'll do more of these interviews so we can really show how much work we YouTubers do here in China. Once again, Thank you for watching, please hit that subscribe button, give me some love and as Winston always says, stay awesome.